this is Dr. Supreet from Department of Commerce. So, today we will be continuing the series of digital marketing and today we will be discussing about the benefits and the importance of digital marketing over the traditional form of your marketing. Now, when we see and when we talk about this digital marketing, what are its benefits, how it has been a total you know transition from a traditional form of marketing. So, whenever we talk about digital marketing, you know the very first thing that comes into mind is that it is very cost effective and it is very quick and you know efficient enough in order to uh, transform an idea into reality and it should you know it will reach the wider set of people within few minutes. So, when we say that any person you know who wants to start as a young budding entrepreneur and he want to make sure that his idea it reaches out to a greater segment of people not just within India but globally. So, the very first thing that will pop up into his mind will be that you know why not to just start with the Facebook account, why not to start with an Instagram account where I can just have a business page which is very cost effective and which is very quick to reach out to a multitude of people which are there you know uh, residing into multiple or different places. So, the first very benefit of opting for digital marketing is that that it is very quick and it gives you very effective results right. For example, if you are just scrolling through your Facebook or scrolling through any other social media application, the very advertisements that just come onto your news feed that will you know obviously grab your eyeballs, it will grab the limelight and you will be little bit you know you will take a pause and you will see on to you know what is this advertisement is like because nowadays most of the people they watch the stuff onto the OTT, they watch the things onto your these social media applications or are more connected to email marketing right or email networking I would say right. So, that ways when we reach out to the ultimate consumer using our digital channels they are very quick and they are very effective in producing the desired amount of your you could say efforts or uh, you know desired results. So, the first very thing is it is very quick and it is very effective in producing the desired results. Next is they are very cost effective. Now, uh, how much will it take to open a Facebook account or how much will it take to open an Instagram business page or how much will it take to just operate an account onto your LinkedIn or onto your Twitter or Pinterest or many other platforms like these, right? It will not take much efforts, it will not be you know that much costly, all you require is a you know smartphone, all you require is a well connected internet and then you are ready to go to you know start with your things to make sure it reaches out to the ultimate set of consumers right. Next as I said is that you know our digital marketing it is you know it is providing you a wider platform. Wider platform for advertisement means that you are able to reach to a greater set of population, greater set of consumer right on to one go. So, earlier what used to happen is that you know nowadays also we use it but that is not that much effective as compared to your digital marketing channel. So, if we say you know you watching an advertisement in between your cricket matches so that is what that is a wider platform. Similarly, when we talk about you know posting any advertisement onto your Facebook or onto your Instagram accounts. So, that is providing you a wider platform. You can connect with your friend who is overseas, you can uh, connect with you know multiple um, uh, you could say users at one time. So, that is why it provides a very broad and a very wider platform to reach to a great set of consumers. Then uh, not just you know reaching the consumer, but it is an you know enhanced consumer engagement. Enhanced customer engagement means that you know how much will it take if you just on and on uh, um, you know uh, load the feed with the uh, n number of advertisements. So, supposingly you put up an advertisement today. So, all you need to do is repost right. All you know, need to do is again posting some similar advertisement just a one liner thing onto your uh, you could say social media platforms and 
uh, this is how you know the you will be able to grab the limelight and you will be able to reach a greater segment of consumers so you will be the into the market making your constant presence right then specific and focused promotional exposure that means you know what sort of customer segmentation you are supposed to reach to so that ways you know you can select to that what is your customer segmentation that you specifically want to focus on to supposingly all those people who want to uh, look for who is looking for let's suppose furniture and you have something which you are promoting with respect to furnishing items only so that ways whosoever will be putting up this string or such string of furniture your advertisement will also pop up onto the same so that means aapko uh, you know you will get that specific and focused promotional exposure to the things and then too it is a continuous and uninterrupted ads as in it will keep on coming there is no interruption there is no you know a third party control over your platforms obviously all these platforms are rented ones they are not owned by you you are just taking a space onto these digital platforms by creating a page of your own that is why we call all these digital uh, platforms whether it social media platforms whether it is facebook whether it is instagram it is your linkedin profile so that is a rented space of yours you are just taking one page you are creating one page out there but that has been owned by someone else so onto this rented space where you are not paying any rent as such you are getting a platform wherein you can just you know um infuse the things with n number of advertisements with n number of stars you can make the reels you can just infuse the audios you can put up some videos on to the same so that that continuity is maintained that is not break right and in this manner it which is very quick which is very effective you are able to reach again a great set of consumers right not just in india but overseas and within india also you know a person who is residing into the far flung area of northeast or into some hilly terrain and they can reach there into tier 1 and tier 2 cities through their effective advertisements which are there on to these popular uh, social media platforms so that means we can say that you know there has been a rising uh, uh, you could say importance of your digital marketing platforms over your traditional platforms now coming on to various digital marketing strategies now as we said digital marketing communication it is providing aid to brands so that it is able to reach a vast segment of targeted segment now when we say targeted segment everybody knows what is their niche area where do they want to operate what are their targeted uh, customer base right so they know you know who to reach whether to reach a young generation whether to reach a mature generation or whether to reach a seasoned generation so that means they know that who are their ultimate target and how to reach them out right and accordingly they will do what they will devise different marketing strategies which is the most crucial and the most important quintessential task of any brand communication strategy and these strategies should be followed by the brands through their digital marketing you know uh, platforms so that it is able to make an impact see the very intent of any digital marketing strategy is to create an impact maintain that impact sustain that impact for a longer run right then only you will be there on to the market shelves otherwise anyone will come into this you know uh, since it is a digital space there will be heated competition so anyone will easily take your place so you have to maintain your space into the market shelves for that you have to uh, modify you have to amend your strategies accordingly right then only it will be very you know it will be little uh, easier for someone to make its importance to sustain in the long run now how can and what could be those strategies one could be you can create extensive presence online the very 
uh, you know aim of any brand is to maximize their online presence. Now, how can we maximize our online presences? One which I have been talking on and on is that you can have verified social media account. So, you know that if there is a tick onto any social media account, so that is a verified one and that you should have to you have to make sure that your social media account is a one which is a verified one. And also when you are sending the emails to any consumer, you have to mention that dialog box whether the customer is interested in any further updates from the brand end or not. Because if you give that option now, that is you know very acceptable. Otherwise, the customer will feel like you know irritated, frustrated with those brand newsletters with the uh, you know emails coming on and on into the spam box or into the inbox of the consumers. So that plays a dialog box in when you are uh, you know providing those sending those emails to the consumers. So it is recommended to provide that dialog box wherein which should be a voluntary choice of the consumer whether he is interested in any further communication from the brand or not right. And uh, apart from emails is you know one thing is when you are intimating about the brand through this email marketing. Another thing is that you can also send a thank you email which is being done by number of brands. So you must have witnessed you know uh, you must have witnessed from lifestyle you must have witnessed it from Amazon wherein whenever you are making a purchase you receive that thank you email from them. So as a very you know sweet gesture from their end so as to tell you that yes you are a valuable customer your you know presence matters a lot to the company to the brand. So it creates a very good impression onto the customer if they receive such updates about the thank you email marketing. So that is why you know thank you email marketing is itself uh, one form of your uh, email marketing which is very prominent right. Another thing you can tap on to is the drip email marketing. So what how does drip irrigation happen earlier how did it happen you know you uh, you know you keep on sending on and on on and on one and one drop. So that way similarly um, e uh, drip email marketing is when you are doing what is after every let us say alternate day after every week you are sending those email to the customer so as to update them about the recent launches of the brand so as to update them about the recent discounts promotional offers regarding the brand and that piece the, the customer is also like that yes he is receiving a first hand information from the brand itself about the upcoming sales, about the upcoming promotional discounts, about the upcoming you know launch of the brand some new products are being launched under let us suppose a winter collection or summer collection. So you must have been receiving those black friday sales. You must have been receiving those let us suppose new year sales email messages. So that phase this is you know one way plus one important strategy that you create extensive presence online. Creating that presence online is foremost important for any brand. So you can either create it using your verified social media accounts or you can use it using your uh, you know email marketing channels whether it could be thank you email whether it could be drip email marketing so any form of the same. Now another one is that that paid social media reach. Now as it is said that it is important for any brand that not just to create a social media account but also to make sure that they have their unique presence into the market. Now how can that unique presence into the market can be ensured? So if we take an example of groceries, you must be buying certain groceries through using all these online show, uh, you know applications wherein there are Zipto is there, wherein Zomato is there, Paytm is also there, Flipkart is there, Amazon is there and Blinkit is there which is also penetrating into 10 minutes delivery model right. So what all these do uh, your these grocery models do they do is they create their unique presence 
and they'll you know through attractive social media coupons and offers they'll tell you that you know this is wednesday sale this is friday sale or uh, this is you know month end sale or this is a salary day sale so something like that which grab the attention of the target market and since it is a necessary good which the consumer has ultimately you know he or she is supposed to buy it so that ways if you are making sure the brand is making sure that the customer is reaching out to them only by let's suppose you know you are introducing the discounts you are coming up with some exclusive offers so in any manner you are able to grab their attention whether going through those paid sponsorships with the influencers then also whether going for brand collaborations then also you are making sure that this there is you know a constant unique presence of the brand by you know indulging in number of strategies by let's suppose uh, running any contest running any coupon discounts running any festive sales so this has been done by the brands and by coming up with attractive deals on to and 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 one more thing not just you know launching with the deals but also making sure that awareness is created that dissemination of information is there down the line see until or unless the consumers are aware that you are not if they are not aware whether you are you know coming up with any discount or not then how would they you know take the benefit of such promotional discounts or the offers so the main important thing is that the information reaches out to them so if the information is reach out to them then half the task is automatically done so what does big bazaar do big bazaar you know come up with all those uh, advertisements onto the uh, your you know channels wherein it informs their customers about the you know big day sales about those promotional discounts about those heavy offers so that's a very good strategy being adopted by you know various brands and big uh, big bazaar is one of those one right so similarly amazon does promote its big sales right and it promotes about the you know uh, the promotional discounts that it offers so that phase you know a strategy should be made in such a manner where in the customers are aware they are made sure it is made sure that they are aware about all the promotional discounts of the brand then is customer engagement now you have uh, you know flooded the market with promotional discounts everything is there but the most important is, uh, thing is that you should have a, a set of loyal consumers and the set of loyal consumers can only be created if there is constant consumer engagement so engaging the customers or consumers through a digital marketplace can be another way to communicate with them and this can only be done when we are encouraging the consumers that they provide the feedback on to the verified social media accounts of the brand right and uh, supposingly you know amazon says uh, let's i'm giving you an uh, you know a very uh, common example of amazon reason being everybody can relate with it whether it is amazon or flipkart or snapdeal or mintra wherein you get these messages about the your recent purchase a feedback on to the same so the after you make a purchase they send you those messages on a one text message one would be your email and now on to whatsapp also so you receive those messages that did you like your recent purchases right and all you have to give a star rating 1 2 3 4 5 so you have to give a star rating and in return sometimes the brand provides the special feedback discount or coupons to the customers when they post such reviews and it also happens with various other brands wherein let's suppose any contest is there and the consumer participates into that contest or into that survey they are given special discounts special feedback discount so you are doing what is you are not just placing your brand onto the digital platform but also making sure that constant engagement with the consumer is there by you know having by receiving all those feedbacks from the customer and 
that uh, feedback is not just you know taken up it is also entertained in a better manner that the company is working on to that feedback improvising their services improvising their brands improvising the experience of the consumers so that the consumers should not you know they do not shift from one brand to another brand so that is how one is having a constant consumer engagement with the you know customers so you know if we say that we are not providing such experience to the customers then the consumers will easily shift from one brand to another brand so for example if you see that you know any of your grocery application it is not providing you with that much good discounts you will easily shift right if you are not you know uh, uh, motivated in a certain manner then it is very easy for any consumer to shift from one brand to another brand so for that sake it is always recommended that one should have a dedicated strategy where in consumer engagement is made sure it is you know uh, confirmed that you are engaging the customer in your every activity so we'll be continuing the segment in the next uh, session right thank you